In this video, we are going to discuss the IV3 discrete I.O. wiring, specifically for the compact model, which is the IV3 G series. We're going to start by taking a look at this wiring diagram, which can be found in the IV3 brochure or in the IV3 user's manual. As you can see on the image on the far left, you have a I.O. terminal block, which sits on the front of the IV3 amplifier. There are 18 pins and each terminal or pin, you can see the assigned function and the name in the chart to the right. Specifically, we're going to look at terminal number 10, which is our output one, and terminal number 18, which is the output common. It's important to note that the output common is required in order for your other outputs to work correctly. So if you're having any issues, with not getting an output signal, be sure to check terminal number 18 for your output common wire. Where the output common will connect is going to depend on what polarity you select. So for example, if you want a PNP output for 24 volts, your output common is going to connect to the 24 volt side of the power supply. If instead you want to use an NPN output for a zero volt signal, your output common is going to connect to the zero volt side of the power supply. I'm gonna start with a PNP setup and you can see my wiring here. I have the IV3 wired to one of our MS2 power supplies. And as you can see that top right terminal, that would be my output one in terminal 10 is I'm using a black wire to connect that to my light. And then I have an orange wire connected to terminal 18 for my output common. And because I have a PNP setup, my output common is connected to my 24 volt side of the power supply. From the green terminal block on the IV3, this is where you supply your 24 volts and zero volts in order to power the IV3. So you can see those going back to the 24 volt and zero volt terminal of the MS2 as well. And then finally, I have a thick black common wire right here for my light common. So now I'm going to show you the settings that need to be changed or checked in the IV3 software. So start by going into IO settings, clicking polarity in the bottom left, and you can easily select back and forth between NPN or PMP. I'm selecting PNP for this setup to match my wiring configuration. Next, I'm going to go into sensor setup and skip to step four, my output assignment. And here's where I can change the function of my output one wire. I'm going to select total status okay because I want my light to turn on for a good part. So now I have a side by side and you can see as I get a good result, my light turns on. When I get a bad result, that light turns off and you can see this is showing a correct, correctly working output for a PNP setup. Now let's say I want to use NPN instead for a zero volt signal. A lot of this is going to look the exact same besides my output common wire and my common wire for the light. So because I want a NPN output, my terminal 18 output common is going to my zero volt side of the power supply and my common wire for the light is connected to 24 volts of the power supply. In the software, we need to make the necessary changes to match our wiring. So I'm going to go back into the polarity settings and change this to MPN and hit OK. And next, I'm just going to verify my output one function by going to step four of sensor setup and I'm going to select total status OK. And from here on my side by side view, you can see that when I get an OK result, my light turns on. For a no good result, my light turns off and my output is working successfully for this NPN setup. I hope this video helped explain and clarify exactly how to wire the IV3 series outputs, but if you have any additional questions, please give my tech team a call at 888 Keyance Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.